When Charles Nsubuga found himself with no job three decades ago, he felt he had no choice but to go back to what he knew best, selling roasted food stuff. I got an idea that I can sell nuts to my fellow workers. Started with about half a kilo or one kilogram, roasting them at night and bringing them at their place of work. So them, my co-workers, and uh, within a space of about five, six months, I was roasting about five kilograms. It is that humble beginning that inspired the start of Sesako. Here, soybean is the main raw material. Nsubuga's enterprise promotes cholesterol-free products that include bread, soy meat, milk, and even yogurt. Man must eat, and he trusts you to go and manufacture for him food from a place where you're not seeing. He has put too much confidence in you. You shouldn't betray that. Do the right thing, and then you'll have the right game. The journey of success has been fulfilling with ups and downs, but the rewards have also been satisfying. As an entrepreneur with over 30 years experience, Nsubuga is always on the lookout for future opportunities. And with a growing list of products that are less expensive, but also highly nutritional in value, he says he could help solve Uganda's food shortage problem, especially among children. When you add soybeans with milk, with a few innovations, you can have milk. Once you have the right technology, you can store that milk for a full year, for two years. You understand? So once we do that, I think it's going to help a lot in food security in Africa. And also to you know, address two big problems. One, the nutrition problem. Two, the economics problem. Nsubuga is also keen on extending his entrepreneurial knowledge to young Ugandans. His company hosts students on a regular basis, teaching them about startups. They learn about practical ways of running businesses. They know what is, they get to, to understand what's going on in the practical business. You know, it helps them to appreciate life. It helps them to be prepared for what is going to come because they are not going to stay in school forever. They are going to get out. They are coming here. As the Suruga inspires young people, he still keeps an eye on the business with ambitions to roll out new products and expand his distribution network and hopes his products will continue flying off store shelves. Leon Sanyangi, Kampala, Uganda.